So today we're going to talk about something called anti-CCP antibodies in relation to rheumatoid arthritis. So as a brief background, as many of you know, rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic autoimmune inflammatory disease. Its primary manifestations are through joint pain, stiffness, and swelling, and if not well controlled, can cause permanent joint damage. While there is still no cure for rheumatoid arthritis, treatment really is quite excellent, and remission is a very reasonable goal today. Rheumatoid arthritis is usually, very often, a clinical diagnosis. In other words, talking to patients, getting a good history, and doing a good physical exam are the most important parts of making a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. In fact, all tests, investigations, blood work, x-rays can all be normal, and you can still have rheumatoid arthritis. But we want to talk about one of these tests today, and it's one called anti-CCP antibodies. And these are antibodies to CCP, or cyclic citrullinated peptide. And this is a relatively new antibody. It's been used for testing clinically for about 15 to 20 years now, since 2005, 2010, depending on where you are and when labs start to update. And it's really been part of the criteria not to say that it's necessary criteria, but one of the things to consider when diagnosing rheumatoid arthritis since about 2010. A anti-CCP antibody, that refers to conversion of an amino acid peptide in the body, so a protein in the body that converts kind of improperly through a process called citrullination. And this can be a marker for rheumatoid arthritis. Anti-CCP antibodies are very specific for rheumatoid arthritis. So what that means is that if you test positive for an anti-CCP antibody, there is a very high chance that you have rheumatoid arthritis. It does not guarantee it, meaning that if you're positive, that does not mean 100% of people who are positive have rheumatoid arthritis, but many do. You can have false positives, and there's a number of reasons for that. Often it may be something, not necessarily serious, but something with the lung uh, tissue or something going on there that might be driving that in a small group of people. Now, while that's important to know that while you're positive for anti-CCP, you likely may have rheumatoid arthritis, it's not sensitive for rheumatoid arthritis. And what that means is that if you are negative, if you test negative for anti-CCP, this in no way rules out diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. So you can have rheumatoid arthritis and still test negative for anti-CCP. You may have heard of another marker for rheumatoid arthritis. So this is called rheumatoid factor. And often we associate that one with rheumatoid arthritis because it has the word rheumatoid in it. But in fact, rheumatoid factor is an even worse test for a rheumatoid arthritis. It is not specific or sensitive for rheumatoid arthritis. So a positive test does not mean that you have rheumatoid arthritis, and a negative test does not mean that you do not have rheumatoid arthritis. There's many reasons, many more reasons, particularly compared to anti-CCP, that you can be positive or negative inappropriately. Now, what's also important to know is that anti-CCP antibody can actually become positive prior to a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis. This could be one to two years in advance. And if you are positive, and it wouldn't be common that this antibody would be randomly checked unless you had some sort of symptoms. But if you were positive and a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis couldn't be made, it's probably important to still monitor your symptoms to ensure they don't develop, because if they did, we would want to treat that as soon as possible. But also important to know that as of today, there is no evidence to suggest that we should start treatment just based on a positive anti-CCP test. So starting on rheumatoid arthritis treatment does not lead to better outcomes or change things unless you truly have rheumatoid arthritis. If it's positive, though, and you do have rheumatoid arthritis, 
Often your rheumatologist will treat your disease a little bit more aggressively, safely so, because we do know individuals who are CCP positive rheumatoid arthritis likely will develop more severe disease over time than someone who is anti-CCP negative over time. Either way, we would want to treat both, but we may treat the one who is positive a little bit more aggressively. But the bottom line, and this is important to remember, is that a diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis should never be made based on positive blood markers alone. Blood work alone without a good history and good physical exam and putting it all together cannot be used by itself to diagnose rheumatoid arthritis. To learn more about rheumatoid arthritis, treatment, and everything else related, please feel free to watch our other videos or visit our website at albertarheumatology.com. Okay.